Hello and welcome, this is Edrald in episode 20 of Federal's Let's Play series. In this episode I want to complete the Blast Furnace, make some titanium and finally get a quarry and put it to work, hopefully. I'm also um, hoping I'll get some armor. I've already crafted myself the, per the first uh, piece of the uh, Thaumaturge Thaumaturg, uh, Rove set. And I'm going to need a little bit more wool in order to get the other pieces. But that's cool. And it basically makes you consume less vis when you use wands. If you have the clothes equipped. And it also gives a little bit of protection, which is always nice. Plus it's quite durable, from what I hear. So those are my goals in this episode. And uh, I think I'm going to get the um, blast furnace casings ready. And then I'll be back to start uh, building stuff. So, see you in a bit. And finally, industrial blast furnace. Let's get it working. I think it's night right now, so I guess... Uh, I guess I can't sleep yet. No, just raining. Alright. So, let's see where we can place it. And I'll show you how you're supposed to build it. In fact, the, ma the machine itself has instructions on how to build it. Now this room, unfortunately, it's only four blocks high, um, and I don't really want it to touch the ceiling, or do I? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, it's just a question of aesthetics. I don't really want it to touch the ceiling, so instead, I'm gonna build it one block below. gonna be right here all right and then I need another circle here and the blast furnace is gonna go right here and then I want one space uh, you know so I can like go down and then another space for being comfortable Alright, so that's, I, I just placed the blast furnace, and if you right click on the inside, um, if you haven't watched my Greg Tech from, se uh, from Scratch series, then you might, you know, um, if you have watched that, then you, you will know how to build it. However, if not, this is how you do it. Well, the, the white squares, squares here correspond to the standard machine casings, and this is the first level, so there's a blast furnace, and then nine. Um, standard machine casings, then eight surround, uh, surrounding one block of lava, which is the red block, and the same thing, and then on the top you close it with standard machine casings. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Except for I will need to get some lava. So why don't I do that? And I'll be right back. Alright, how I'm gonna do this um, to avoid having to go to the nether or to a lava pool is to use a build, a buildcraft tank. And I'm just gonna put it... Well, why don't I put it next to the geothermal generators? Because they get lava. Actually, let me get all the lava cells. Which I'm gonna use shortly. And normally you can't like directly convert cells to um, buckets, but what you can do is to put the content of cells inside a tank, and then you can use a bucket to retrieve to, to retrieve that, just like that. And each cell corresponds to one bucket. So where am I supposed to put this again? Right, right here. Okay, that's one. And by the way, you can use other casings here. There are two types of, uh, three types of casings in total. Reinforce and advance. And depending on the type you use, the blast furnace is going to have a bigger hit. Um, what is it called again? Uh, it's going to be able to smell stuff at a higher temperature. And you're going to need that for some other metals. But for titanium, um, 
you can just use basic casings and the lava in the middle and it'll work just fine. So now I build the whole casing and the blast furnace turns green. That means I can use it and I have that heat capacity. Which is just barely enough for um, smelting titanium. Now I'm going to need some cables to connect the geothermals and the uh, generator here. And I need a generator because this produces 120 in total, you per tick, and then I need 128. So a generator produces 10 and that's just almost perfect. And that's of course temporary. Alright, so I'll be back once I've got everything in it. Alright, so to transfer all the energy that those geothermal generators make, I'm gonna use glass fiber cables. Now, another option would be gold cables, which can transfer up to 128 EU in them. However, with uh, accounting for the energy loss, I would actually be supplying the um, blast furnace with less than 128 EU per tick and I don't think that will work. So I'm using glass fiber cables which has a, an extremely low energy loss. In fact, in my setup I won't even be uh, losing one EU per tick. So there will be no loss at all and it's perfect for feeding the blast furnace. So I think I want to put the cable down here since uh, I got this nice setup. Oops. That was not supposed to happen. I uh, see this space here was caused by the filler, which uh, didn't actually, not sure why, uh, fill all the space down the, uh, down here. But uh, yeah, that's fine. Just means that I uh, might have some mobs under my house at some point. All right, so the generators are here. And I guess I can leave this open, doesn't really matter. Alright, let's get out of here. And just need a generator. Less fiber cable. And just want to make sure I'm not going to break anything. Nope. I don't think so. Alright, so I just need to feed it now. And why don't I wait until I actually have something to put in the blast furnace, like uh, <clears throat> titanium, which I'm gonna work on right now, and I might have to make a new block. I'm just gonna take a look at the recipe for making titanium dust. Or uh, tiny piles of titanium dust, I think. Yeah, okay. So, how do you make this again? You need an industrial electrolyzer and boxy dust. Alright, so my next project, I guess, will be to build an industrial electrolyzer, which consumes 128 EU per tick, so it would be perfect to put it in my new room. So, alright, I will be working on this, and I'll be back once I've crafted one industrial electrolyzer. All right, I've got an industrial electrolyzer and I've also macerated some box seeds so I can actually um, make it run and I think I'm gonna I'm also gonna need some empty cells if I remember correctly to store some um, stuff that it produces uh, alongside with um, titanium dust so let's get 64 empty cells and you might be wondering why I get only 4 cells out of um, 14. Well, that's because of a change Greg Tech makes. As I was saying, a change that Greg Tech makes that makes you have less tin for... Um, less, less empty cells for your tin. So, yeah. Alright, let's try this out. Why don't I put the electrolyzer right here? And it has its own internal storage, that's why the generator is put to work. And I guess I should uh, light up the lava thing, shouldn't I? Alright, let's divide this um, thing by 6. Alright. Mouse tweak is the best mod ever. I did that by dragging 
with uh, the left button of my mouse and this part of the mouse tweaks mod, just so you know. Okay, now they should be all generating energy and uh, I guess they don't need more energy because only one of them is working. But as soon as I put the box in here and some cells, it should they should all start uh, producing. Oh yeah. And this is gonna take a while. Uh, doesn't you know really produce it instantly. Although you can of course uh, use overclockers, but uh, the energy consumption that you get if you use overclockers overclockers is immense, and I don't really have the kind of power to do that. So why don't I uh, make some more armor while I wait for that? And in fact, I've got uh, something else I want to make. And let me try to get into the ship thing first. What I want to make is... Um, well, I, I want to make more liquid acts and use them in my liquid XP setup and see if it actually drains energy faster. Because the other thing is really slow the um, Beercraft pipes. Now where did I put my string? I guess I guess I don't have any more string. Oh well. Let's macerate some. You can macerate wool to get string. That's added by uh, Industrial Craft, by the way. And each wool gives you two string. Alright, lots of boxed. Uh Alright, so no armor, but... Yeah, liquid axe. Okay, so I'll be back when I, I've got some liquid axe. Alright, let's try out those liquid axe. And it would be really nice to be able to get rid of those uh, 37 levels of mine in not such a long time. Uh, and with Belcraft pipes, as you can see, my experience bar, experience bar is draining slowly, very slowly. So let's see the difference with liquid axe, and hopefully it'll be faster. Alright, so, uh, here, here and here, then I'll need a wrench, and I'll also need a lever. Actually, I don't need a lever because um, I just noticed, oh yeah, I put the wrench in the industrial craft chest, just temporarily, I just noticed that the um, absorber outputs liquid directly into the pipes so I don't actually need a lever so let's see like oh yeah that's what I'm talking about look at my experience bar draining like a boss right so I'm gonna get this to level 30 get myself a book and I'll get a golden chest plate probably I don't think I have enough gold actually you know, I might use the uh, robe to enchant it, and I wonder if that'll work. I guess we'll see. Another option would be to get a normal enchantment table and use 30 levels, but nah, let's not do that. Okay, and while that's taking place, I'm gonna put another medallion here for the future. And the experience is draining very fast, very nicely. So I like that. All right, um, just need a book and some luck. And I hope that that, that my ropes don't hurt, don't uh, break, because I know they take some damage when they're used like this. But it's a risk I'm willing to take for the sake of science. There we go. Ouch, that was painful. And I got magic resistance 3 and blast protection 4. Alright, I'm kind of getting tired of these enchantments. Um, they're not the best, I can tell you that. Um, okay, and I need an anvil or an LXP anvil in order to apply these enchantments. Um, I don't think I have enough iron yet. But that's fine. Um, let's check on the progress on the electrolyzer, shall we? Okay, let's see. Four tiny piles of titanium dust. That's cool. I can combine them to get one titanium dust. 
and I actually need I put 24 bucks in there and that's what's gonna give me uh, one pi one titanium dust and I actually need two titanium dust now the industrial plus furnace is processing that and making it into titanium ingots right the rest of these things um, hydrogen cells okay okay I see the problem here is that I don't have enough energy to uh, for for both of these machines so right now none of them should be working so I'm gonna take the electrolyzer off and hope that I don't lose my my titanium oh great I can't oh yeah there you go uh, let's see okay I didn't lose my titanium I did lose some bauxite but that's okay that's I think that's less important than the titanium alright so I got aluminium dust which is perfect because it's gonna save me a lot of iron don't know if you've noticed but many of the recipes um, you can use refined iron, iron plates or aluminium plates and I've always used refined iron because I didn't really have a method of making uh, aluminium but now I do for example by processing bauxite uh, that's, that's awesome that's just great uh, hydrogen I can use to make some other stuff let's see what it can be used for to make deuterium but um, I guess I can also combine it with uh, carbon to make uh, methane cells, gas turbine. Oh, look at that. I can actually use it in gas turbines. The problem with that is um, unless I have an infinite resource of tin, I don't think it's I don't think that it is a very vi viable, um, you know, energy production method. Because because the, you don't get the cell back so like you use the hydrogen cell and then you don't get the cell back so you know you lose uh, you lose tin and you gotta either get a you know a constant supply or then it's not viable all right now let's put that back the inertia electrolyzer uh, obviously I can only work one of these at, at a time and it would be nice to actually automate that to make it so that I cannot um, they cannot work together like if one of them is on maybe like generate a redstone signal there's a cover for that I think that says like it will emit a redstone signal if it has work and then I can tell this one with a redstone control cover if you receive a resin signal then don't work and only work when you don't receive a resin signal so yeah that could be cool um... yeah well I'll, I'll look into it uh... in any case i think i'm gonna wait for this to process and then i'll be back and um... And while this takes place i will be starting to make my drill so see you in a bit and I found a mine shaft. Let's see what kind of treasures there are within. Lots of gold, uh, probably. Lots of iron, I mean. And hopefully some diamond. I realized that I didn't have enough diamonds to make a quarry. And therefore, I've been mining for a little bit. I haven't had any luck yet, but I also haven't had. Uh, haven't been mining much in the lower levels, so that's probably why. And who knows, maybe I'll get some uh, diamonds in the chest. And the new armor is proving to be quite uh, capable. Actually, I had a creeper blow up in my face before and I only got about four hearts of damage, which was really nice. I think I would have probably died if I hadn't been wearing any armor at all so yeah pretty decent and that's only one piece you know that's only the chest oh, this is a really creepy place huh oh my nice and who knows maybe I'll find some iridium as well that's the rarest ore of them all uh, don't even feel like getting that, that ur uranium Alright, running out of torches, that's not good. Oh, look at that. Some world generation derp. 
Right, let's get some torches. That's. It's interesting to note two pieces of wood is enough to make uh, 64 torches. So, you know, kind of a handy shortcut thingy. And I found some sulfur as well, as you can see. Uh, apparently, it spawns close to lava. Not sure what mod ad adds it. If I had to bet, I would say Railcraft. Um, or Greg Tech, but I don't think it's Greg Tech. I think it's Railcraft that adds it. Or uh, Factorization, because you actually have some recipes with it in Factorization. So, who knows? Okay, let's keep mining. Mob spawner, awesome. I hate that kind of water in mines, it's like, dude, seriously. Ooh, little spiders, not so awesome. I wonder if this axe will be good to cut down uh, cobwebs. I can only hope. Nope. Not good at all. In fact, I'll, uh, uh, same speed with my hands. Alright, why don't I take um, that off to begin and then I'll just circumvent this because I don't really feel like spending half an hour here. And there's another spider waiting to fall on my head right there. Ooh, two spawners even, wow. That's the first time I've seen that. Oh crap. Crap, 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 crap. Oh. Oh boy. That was exciting. Um, and I have to thank my armor again for saving my life, basically. I mean, um, went down to half a heart and I bet I would have I would have died if it weren't for that armor. Okay, dudes, I don't want to break the cobweb, so come on. Give me some space here. Lots of tin, and apparently. A minecart with a chest? What the heck is that? Hope it's not a trapped minecart with a chest or something like that. Something silly like that. Guess uh, I could use the rails maybe. Ooh, emeralds, that's awesome. Let's keep looking. Uh, I guess I'll be back when I find some diamonds. Alright, I'm back home and I've actually died in the in the while well, mining. A creeper gave me a, a humiliating death, actually, and I lost uh, not not a lot of things. Actually, I only lost a couple of things. However, I did lose my pickaxe, which sucked so much. I can't express how much that sucked. Uh, so I made myself a steel pickaxe with the steel that I had gotten from a um, treasure chest. And, you know, I guess at some point I will make myself another pickaxe and probably use a better material. So, you know, had to happen at some point, I guess. Anyway, I got a bunch of diamonds. Uh, right next to where the creeper was uh, creeping. And now I'm able to make my quarry, so I'll meet you when I got that uh, crafted. So, apparently the recipe for diamond drills requires three industrial diamonds now, which I think is a change made by Greg Tech. And after I went and cried a little bit, I came back and I realized that I needed to build an implosion compressor in order to get industrial diamonds. So I guess I won't be building the quarry this episode. Um, 
and that will be my uh, work for next one because I'm kind of running out of time now. Is there a creeper right here? No, I think it's just the farm. So, implosion compressor is crafted like this. I'm not gonna craft it right now, I just wanna see. Uh, and it takes 32 U per tick, so that's nice. Doesn't seem too complicated. Alright, well, um, I guess I'll work on this next episode. And I hope you enjoyed watching this time. I did, uh, you know, a nice progress. On, on I got now the means to make titanium. Uh, next episode I'll have the means to make some other stuff with the implosion compressor. So I hope you enjoyed watching this episode and I'll see you next time.